In this video, I'm going to show you how to make slow cooker deer barbecue. This recipe was given me by my uncle years ago, and it is very, very good. Yes, if you notice, it's the shirt that I wore in the metal detecting video. I just got back from metal detecting. If you haven't seen that video, or whichever video comes first, check one or the other one out. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, we got about a two and a half pound deer roast off that deer we shot the other night. We're going to use about half of this red onion and a couple cloves of garlic. Now the secret to this recipe is this, this pickle juice. I know everybody in the south keeps a jar deal of pickle juice. It's great for relieving muscle cramps, um, heartburn, all kinds of stuff. And then the barbecue sauce. Now I like to use my own barbecue sauce, but the original recipe called for Kraft Original or whatever kind you like. But since this is what the original recipe called for, it's what we're going to put in there. Well, I don't know if I can say craft or not, but if I can't, I did. Sorry, what not. Anyway. Oh, but turn that around too. Yep, turn that around. This is the farm I work for. Honey, so I ain't worried about that. Anyway. Let's get this cut up. Get that chopped up. Put this, this, and this in there. Well, I didn't turn the video on. Anyway, you want to put your roast in the pot. You can put your gar garlic in there whole. Put your gar yeah, blah, blah, blah. you can put your cloves of garlic in whole with your onion. Depending on how big your roast is, how much onion you use, I use roughly a cup of, on of red onion. Make sure we cover that with water, and then we turn that to low, and let this thing cook all night long. <clears throat> all right. It's been in there all night. We'll do it in a second and see if we can pull it apart with a fork. And yeah, that's done. What we're going to do is we're going to take this out. Whoa, made a mess. I'm just going to take that out. And set it on this little cutting board. in there. Now what we want to do is we want to strain all this and strain it out. We want to keep the onions but get rid of the garlic. So I'm going to have to put the phone down for this because I've lost my phone holder in the woods deer hunting. So bring you back in a minute. Alright now we got it all shredded up. I just pulled it apart with a fork. Got the onions mixed in with it real good. I said you can leave the garlic in there if you want, but I usually take it out because it's got all the flavor it's going to need, but it, it'll mush up real good. So if you want to leave it in there, you can. And then, you just take your barbecue sauce and pour it in there. It's depending on how much meat you have. It's probably take about a half a bottle. I said it was about two, two and a half pound roast. Mix that all up. About half bottles, all this is gonna need. Smelling good, it will smell good all night long. I said, You don't have to make this overnight, you can do it before you go to work, get everything set up, and then turn it on low and let it cook while you're at work. Come home and you got your barbecue. And all you have to do is just add the um sauce when you get home and just heat everything back up but I, I did it overnight so I'm going to put it in the refrigerator so all we have to do is heat it up when we get home just kind of make sure it's mixed in real good alright now comes the secret ingredient pickle juice about three tablespoons pour that in there Mix that all up. I like to do it overnight and set it in the refrigerator and then heat it up when I get home. 
and it just, I think it helps the flavor a little bit. All right, that's ready to eat if you want to, but I'm gonna let it sit in the refrigerator all day, and then put it back in the cooker and slowly heat it back up. There's a piece of garlic, not an onion. There you have it, slow cooker deer barbecue.